Yeah. Hello, ladies and gents, Rock here, and welcome to No Wrong Films. Today we're going to be doing our first uh, hands-on tutorial, and what's going to include is we're going to be replacing our current 750 gigabyte hard drive that is in this MacBook Pro. And here's some statistics regarding my uh, laptop right here. And we're going to be upgrading it to the Samsung solid state drive, the 850 Pro 512 gigabyte solid state drive. And uh, you'll need tools and also your. Uh, OS 10 El Captain boot. You can't have a Yosemite, but I'm gonna do El Captain. It's it's installed on here, which I'll have a. I'll show you guys a tutorial how to do that as well. And uh, some extra USBs in case you want to transfer some extra files over as well. Now, in order to create the bootable USB, we're gonna head and first go straight into our App Store, and we're gonna need to download the OS. For example, if you go to your purchases, if you purchase previously installed OS 10 El Capitan on your previous hard drive, you'll be able to find it here or OS 10 Yosemite, you could use either. And uh, you go ahead and click download and then it'll give you a little pop-up showing do you want to install or do you want to just download and to save and hit download to save. And you'll be able to find it in your launch pad as, like, as soon as it's downloaded, you'll be able to move over and find it in your launch pad like that it's an application there ready to be used or installed onto your computer. And on the side. So now that we have that installed, it will probably take you for a little bit, it's like eight gigabytes total. Um, go ahead and plug in your USB. And uh, here's mine, it's already formatted, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways. Um, go ahead and open up Disk Utility. And you select your USB, and you're gonna go to Erase. You're gonna name it Untitled, just leave it Untitled because the command I have you guys use later, it's gonna use this name. And uh, OS 10 extended journal, just leave that alone here as well. And then the scheme, GUID partition map, uh, just leave that as the same as well. This is basically Intel based. This is if you're installing like in Linux, Windows, uh, and this is uh, PPC, which uh, I'm not really gonna dive in too much into those. But just leave it just like the way it is here. Go ahead and erase. It'll run through the motions saying unmounted. You can show details, see what steps it's on. It honestly shouldn't take that long. Now, once this is completed, you'll have a fully untitled disk. If you open it, there'll be nothing in it and there should be nothing in it. Now, go ahead and uh, close out of your disk utility. And now we're going to launch terminal. And I have these commands that you're gonna need to put in. It's only one command actually. It will be in the description, depending on what you're trying to install. If you're doing OS 10 Yosemite or OS 10 El Capitan. But I'm gonna go ahead and open up my notes here. And here's my commands for the command for El Capitan, which is the one I did install um, right here that I showed you guys earlier at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this straight into the terminal. And sometimes be sure to take a look over your code, but if you notice here, it says create install media right here. There's no space, nothing. Mine actually creates a little like dash right here. I don't understand why. So I'm gonna have to remove that real quick. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys is gonna need to do this, but I'm gonna copy this portion and then I'm gonna delete from this section. That way I can remove that dash, otherwise the code will be not found, which is, I don't really understand why that dash, but it does it to me every time. Once I have the dash deleted, paste that code back in, hit enter, and it's gonna say erasing disk, 0%, 10%, just let this run through. Now you may do the same thing if you're trying to install OS 10 Yosemite. You can copy this code out, which I'll have in the description as well. And at the end of this video, I'll also show you guys how to enable trim. And it's a simple command. As soon as your SSD is installed, just run this command and it will install your trim. I mean trim. And it will enable trim. Wow, that took forever. Well, now once it's done, it will look like this. And uh, you'll notice that your yes. USB has been renamed. Double click in it, you'll see your actual install in here as well. And now it's properly prepared to be used as an install as we will in this video. Now before you begin taking anything apart, you're gonna wanna make sure your laptop's powered off, unplugged, and then let's go ahead and access the bottom here for our screws. Now the screws along the back here are going to be a lot longer than the ones up front and on the sides, so keep them separated. And then here's our hard drive right here. Before we can take this out, we have to unscrew these as well here on the sides.
and it just pops off just like that. Do you have to lightly unplug this? Just like that. And here's my uh, hard drive. We're also going to take out these so that we can actually put them back on our solid state drive since we're going to insert it back into our Mac. Also need pliers or a star tool to actually take these out. What I actually noticed, it's honestly very simple. All you got to do is actually loosen it just a little bit and then you can from here you can actually just completely untwist it off once it's loose and they'll just come off just like this just like that I'm going to now put these uh, little screws back onto my solid state drive So what we're going to do now is we're going to install the hard drive or solid state drive. It's got to go just like this. It's got to fit into here. Put it in the bottom first down here and you just snap it in right there as long as it lines up where you put in the two screws. You're going to need to put this back in now just the way you got it out. Now before you put it in the lid, I do recommend cleaning it off. You may have some dust on it. Once it's looking nice and fresh, just go ahead and uh, now I'll line it back with the fan. Now remember the screws, the longer screws where they went. My three went here, the one in back, the little one here, and then the rest were the little ones as well. Now once you have your solid state drive installed, replace your hard drive, go ahead and uh, plug in your bootable USB that we set up early. Where? Oh, it's telephone. You plug it right in to the USB. And on boot, when we uh, go to boot, go ahead and hold down the option key as well. So option, ALT, alt key, hold that down on boot. Go ahead and double click on your oh, this time. Once this screen boots up, go ahead and go into disk utility. Just simply double click it. Now uh, it's going to recognize your Samsung SSD and uh, also the SANDA disk that installed. What we're going to do is first is going to go to internal, Samsung SD, erase, I'm going to call it Mac SSD, extended journal, partition map, erase. Now that what's not done, I'm going to go install OS, double click on this. This is all under the USB here as well, so don't click on this. Hit continue, agree, agree, and what you're going to need to do <clears throat> is select your Mac SSD that you just set up and uh, hit install. And it will begin to install on your solid state drive. Once your computer is fully rebooted and then finished its installation, which will probably take an additional 20 minutes, you can go ahead and finish up by setting up your Mac. Once you have your SSD successfully installed, you may go into your About This Mac, go to System Report, and then go down to your SATA, SATA Express. And if you scroll down right here, this section, you'll notice that uh, the trim support, it will say that it's probably no enabled, um, and no, and it, mine's enabled because I already ran the code. But in order to enable it, go ahead and open up Terminal, 
and copy this code, which I'll have in the description for you guys as well. And paste it right into the terminal, hit enter, put in your password. And it will give you a huge knowledge, just hit yes at the prompt. I'm gonna hit no because I've already done it. And just hit yes, it'll run for a little bit, it'll run a restart on your computer, or it'll, it'll recommend it. And you will be all set to run and use your OS X El Capitan SSD. Everything should be running a lot faster. Personally, the one I have right now, I've been running on it for about a month now before this video has actually been released. And uh, I've had no issues whatsoever. Everything's running just the way I want it to. And it, I love the performance. I, I honestly, I'm enjoying everything about it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Catch you guys next video and later. So let my life be